For the last four summers, Anita has come from Bulgaria to pick the Kent fruit harvest. Five months hard graft to provide for her family. But after Brexit and the pandemic, there aren't enough workers like her to bring the crop in. We, as, as, a, as a farmer, are hugely passionate about employing local people. And, and there are many roles and career opportunities for local people here. But we simply don't have the people coming forward for the, for the jobs. The National Farmers Union wants the government to grant COVID recovery visas to help tackle staff shortages across the food supply chain. If you look at some of our pig members, they've got a huge backup of pigs off, on farm at the moment. Some 15,000 pigs a week that should be going through slaughterhouses aren't being killed because they, there isn't enough butchers to process them. This then has knock-on effects potentially for welfare. Uh, we're seeing the same within our poultry supply chains, just not enough butchers to work in the processing plants to cut those animals. What happens on the farm is felt on the high street. Major brands like Nando's and KFC have closed restaurants or cut menus in recent weeks, and even McDonald's can't restock its milkshakes. Thanks in large part to the most salient shortage of all, of the lorry drivers every sector depends on. The haulage industry says it's facing a shortfall of up to 100,000 drivers and businesses have pleaded with ministers to temporarily lift post-Brexit immigration rules to allow EU workers to come and help keep the economy moving. But this weekend, the business secretary, Kwasi Kwarteng, has said no, and he's urged companies to hire and train British workers instead. Retailers say that response will not help them as they try to stock the shelves for Christmas. I think that that's a very poor response to a very urgent situation. I think that there's a uh, massive demand from uh, EU truck drivers um, for work, and this country currently needs it desperately. Um, we are in a situation where we're facing um, shortages of not only goods, but when the goods are now arriving, uh, that we now don't even have the option to get them delivered. A summer of supply problems is already testing Britain's economic recovery from the pandemic. Should it stretch into autumn, it may challenge assumptions about the fruits of Brexit too. Paul Kelso, Sky News.